In this video, we are going to be solving example 4.7, page 90 of the AP Physics textbook. This problem is called the end of the ski jump. A ski jumper leaves the ski track moving in the horizontal direction with a speed of 25 meters per second. The landing below the incline falls off with a slope of 35 degrees. Where does he land on the incline? So basically, the skier is going to, his trajectory is going to look something like this. So we want to figure out where on this slope does he land. This is a horizontally launched projectile, but a more complicated one. Normally, we would solve this problem by figuring out how long it takes the skier to reach the ground and then solve for the horizontal direction. However, how far he goes in the horizontal direction will influence how far down on the slope he lands. So we have more unknowns than we normally have in this type of problem. However, I think the best thing to do here is just to pretend that we don't have that many unknowns. The thing we would normally do is first, figure out how long it takes him to reach the ground. The problem here, like I said, is that we don't know where the ground is. For that, though, we would use the second kinematic. Now, sort of the problem here is that we don't know the initial height. We're going to keep calling the ground zero. That term goes away because, of course, the initial velocity in the y direction is zero. So what we end up with in the y direction is y i equals 4.9 t squared. In the x direction, well, x is going to be equal to the speed times the time. So these two equations will be important later on. Um, so again, this is just from our ninth grade equation, v equals d over t, you solve for distance, distance equals speed times time. We do know other things in this problem. I'm going to call, let's just say he lands here at this point. I'm going to call this distance d. And then we can relate d to both our x and y components. So this is going to be our y component. That's actually going to be yi if he lands here on the slope then that's how far he falls down. And x will be how far he goes over in the x direction. We have an angle here. If we take the cosine of that angle, we end up with adjacent over hypotenuse. Our adjacent is x, our hypotenuse is d. So we end up with x equals d times the cosine of 35 degrees. If we take the sine of 35 degrees, we end up with y i over d, opposite over hypotenuse. So we end up with y i equals d sine of 35. So this equation is important, and this equation is important. Now we have x equals 25t and x equals d cosine 35. These x's are equal to each other, so we can just set those two equations equal to each other. So we end up with 25t equals d cosine 35 degrees. Now we also have an equation for yi here and one here. Those are the same. We can simply set those equal to each other. We have 4.9 t squared equals d sine 35 degrees. 
This puts us a little bit closer to solving the problem. Basically, what this tells us is that if we can figure out how long the guy was in the air for, then we could figure out his distance down the slope. What we have here is a system of equations. Um, we've got two unknowns and two equations, so we can easily solve for one of them. I think the best thing to do here would be to use substitution. So I'm going to solve this equation for t. So we would get... So if we solve that for t, sorry. t is going to be equal to d cosine 35 degrees divided by 25. Then we can plug this t back into this equation. So 4.9 d cosine 35 divided by 25 squared equals d sine 35 degrees. So if we do cosine times the 35, cosine of the 35 degrees divided by 25, square that, multiply that by 4.9, on this side of the equation, we will get approximately 0 0.00526, and I am rounding here, d squared equals d sine 35 degrees, cancel out the d, divide both sides, So we'll end up with 0.00526d equals sine of 35 degrees. Then, if you divide both sides by 0.00526, you end up with d is equal to 109 meters. Okay, the problem gets easier from here. We have this equation and this equation, if we simply put 109 in for d, then we can figure out how far the skier has gone in the x direction and how far the skier has gone in the y direction. So x equals d cosine 35, plug in that 109, and we get 89.3 meters. In the y direction, yi equals d sine 35, plug in that 109, and you get 62.5 meters. So what that means is when the skier lands on this slope, he has gone 89.3 meters in the x direction and down 62.5 meters in the y direction. So we should put a negative here to show that it's down. And that's that problem. What I'd like you to do here is think about the steps we used to solve this problem. We'd started out with too many unknowns, but we narrowed it down so that we could come up with a system of linear equations to solve for one of our unknowns. So just think about using that process in the future.